I got y'all with two new builds on this pie chart that not most people want to use, my boy, because it's hard to shoot. But listen, this build will still be goaded. But it, it, but it, 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 it might not, it might not, you know, be no meta comp build. But if you want to have fun, if you want to yam and damn and speed boost, 99 speed, 99 acceleration, Hall of Fame, contact dunk, etc. I'm going to be giving y'all the best slash and playmaker builds in this pie chart, bro. I'm going to show y'all some very unique things. So make sure y'all watch this full video if you would like to build one of these builds one's going to be the best for 3v3 and one's going to be the best for god damn it bitch one of them's going to be the best for 2v2 so make sure y'all watch the duration of this video and not skip it you know we, we got the jimmy butler build my boy now look before we get any further make sure y'all subscribe if you know it's free dickhead <laughs> i'm tripping i'm tripping i'm tripping i'm tripping make sure you subscribe if you do Let's try and get 3,000 likes. Help me get in Young Recommended. I appreciate y'all. Thanks for all the love. And um, yeah, so look, for this first build, this is just the first build for 3v3s, pro am stuff like that. You know, the best for those. The second build gonna be for 2v2s. You can still use it, you know, but I'm gonna tell you why I, I did it like this and that. They're, they're two different builds. But anywho, the, for the first one, PG, you know, they, they, this don't matter, man. Now, this is the pie chart we are going to go with. For this pie chart, I'm gonna show you the two best slashing playmakers to make. Now look, I know a lot of people always choose the speed pie chart. Look, you gonna be wanting to yam, be crazy, all that other stuff. And if you still wanna get 99 speed and acceleration, once you get gym rat and 99, go this pie chart, okay? If you gonna get your build to 99 and you want 99 speed, 99 acceleration, and a, a stupid high ass vert, this is the pie chart for you. But if um, you're not really gonna grind this dude right here and you still want 99 speed, 99 acceleration, go ahead and pick this shit, you feel me? But yeah, um, I would go this pie chart. You know, the vertical should help you with dunks and shit, you feel me? Okay, this is the 3v3 version, okay? Six badges, that's good enough. Stop all the corner little dickheads 19 finishing badges you're gonna be a god 12 shooting you need as much shooting as possible especially on a build like this until everybody you know figures out you know the the best well, i already know the best jump shots a like uh, the 2000 likes i dropped the best jump shot video but um once you know because they're gonna keep making shooting easier i guarantee you they're not gonna keep it hard but um 19 finishing you're gonna be unstoppable hall of fame finishing badges 12 shooting badges if you you know if you rotate like like for instance for instance you can even use them as a corner guy and have a main ball handler he could be a secondary ball handler right man if a if a nigga catching it off rip he's dominating that guard anybody coming to the paint late he dominating and he gonna be able to hit you know consistent well if you ask you know you can't hit with 12 badges and uh, you know yeah, yeah 70 sub three yeah, yeah, you ask my boy but um you know this is definitely for it. you can use it in comp situations to, to, to be honest bro if you're if you're good at the game and you'll be unstoppable in the paint all you gotta do is hit your threes you know you you rotate um double ball handler shit you you could really go crazy with this nigga bro but um 20 playmaking is perfect you don't you can't have higher. That would be better for, you know, you're trying to get ankle breakers and shit like that. And um, dots and stu stuff like that. But 20, you don't want to go lower than 20 for especially a build like this. Six defensive. It's cool on the threes. Cool on Pro-Am. It's cool. You feel me? Perfect, my nigga. You know? Um, the 2v2 build is going to have more D. And you, you're going to see the variation. And it's going to be a whole different position. But anywho, we're going to go burly. You want to be big as shit, you know? Yeah? Intimidate my niggas. <laughs> Let me know if you part of the uh, Burley gang down in the comments, man. Burley gang all the way. Big niggas. So, look. We're going to go 6-5. Now, look. If you want shot creating takeover to make this build maybe more comp, possibly. Um, because uh, shot creator adds to your shooting. Um, you have to go 6-4 or 6-3. That's the only way you unlock shot creator takeover. And I think shot creator takeover boosts your midi. But um, if you're not trying to do that, you're just trying to do uh, slashing or playmaking, choose 6'5", 
you know, you don't want to uh, drop off your speed, so you don't go 6'6". Six, six. You can, though. Um, you don't want to drop off the ball handle, the shooting, you know. You want 6'5", the sweet spot. You feel me? It's a sweet spot. You know, you only lose one. One speed, one acceleration by going 6'5", right? 177 weight, right? And we're going to max the wingspan, bro. You, you, you bring it lower, you're not going to get contact dunks. You could bring it right here if um you're going to hit like 99 and stuff but if you want contact dunks off rip speed boost off rip you know this is shooting struggling you feel me but look so look you feel me and you go slash your takeover this is what i would recommend for the 3v3 um you can't go play making he said he gonna buff it it's up to you my boy but um this is supposed to be a fun build toxic build yam damn you know slash your takeover 19 finishing badges Niggas is really gonna leave you open. All you gotta do is hit that goddamn midi. Have someone that can run floor general or hall of fame or something. Hit that goddamn midi. Have heart start. You feel me? You, you, you might be able to be a cheese guy. But um, so look, let me show y'all that you can get shot creator takeover too, right? Bam, shot creator takeover. You only get it six four and below, right? So up to you. Uh, man, it's tough, bro, because. The reason it's tough is because I don't know. Let me let, let me let me let me show y'all. Hold on. I, I I got some more to say, right? Now look, the reason it's tough to either go shot or slashing. Now if shot creator makes this build into a comp build like that can actually shoot who knows if that's true i i don't have the build you know game only been out certain you know all this other stuff but i will test out builds like this and i'll show y'all gameplay and let y'all know in the future but who knows if you can get you know crazy contact dunks with shot creator takeover as frequent as slashing who knows if slashing is just completely broken with 19 finishing your contact dunks already unlocked with shot creator bro bro be honest it does boost your dunking too and you'll be able to break ankles and you'll have like a, a 90 dunk and hall of fame and 19 you should be able to get contacts with a uh, shot creator so i mean if i was y'all bro i don't know man if you're a bot you know you really don't want to shoot like that and stuff you go slash or you want to be straight noob cheese no skill and all that but if you want to possibly have your build be a comp build i would choose shot creator takeover bro but it's up to you my boy it is up to you if you just want to have fun choose slasher and just go crazy bro but you know yeah it's up to you man now i'm gonna show you all the best badges for this build and then Look at that. Jamarian, Russell Westbrook, you know, Steve Francis. I'm gonna show all the best badges for this build and then I'm gonna get into the 2v2 build, man. I would say these are the best badges. Fancy footwork, you know, it could work, you know. I don't know, man. You get to boost your team's takeover after every highlight play, bro. So they gonna get that whole quick. Acrobat Euro Euros are back. You're gonna be damn near unstoppable. Um, if you don't need Acrobat, if you already finishing at a crazy high rate, say um, you know, say say you wanna boost up Giant Slayer, man. You could take from Showtime or Acrobat and boost up Giant Slayer. Personally, up to you. If I was to make this build or use this, I would use this first and um see how much the takeovers get boosted if. People's really hit and take over quicker. If not, I would just put it on Giant Slayer. But up to you, my boy. Now, you could rock something like this, man. You hit that first shot. It's going to make your shooting a lot easier. You either rock something like this or like this, bro. You know? All up to you, my boy. I would probably do something like this first. You know? You know, you can use something like this. I don't know, really. I haven't OD tested if tight handles works. But um, you can get a full ankle breaker badge. And then something else, you know, that's why 20 is nice. And yeah, you could rock something like this. Um, if you're not guarding on ball, you shouldn't be guarding on ball as a PG. But if you is, you know, can have something like this. You feel me? 
Okay, now for the second build, bro, we are going to choose fall small forward. This is for the 2v2 build. The reason, um, now for the 3v3 version, it's best to make them a PG for the best badges, overall speed, all that. I did all the research for y'all already. Now for the 2v2, it's best to make him a small forward, right? The reason why is because you get an extra defensive badge. If you do it at the shooting guard or the PG, you don't, right? So, you know, this is why you make about the small forward. Then you get all the other badges, right? We gonna go this pie right here. We gonna go to vertical, okay? If you wanna do the speed, you're not gonna grind them out. Go ahead, man. Okay, now as y'all can see, now look, the difference between the other positions and stuff is you'll only get seven instead of eight, and you won't get to upgrade your block. That's the difference, right? So um, the stats are gonna look better once I lower his height. Small forwards automatically set at six seven, I think. But yeah, so you know, twelve finishing, that's good. You get three Hall of Fame finishing badges, that is enough. You need as much shooting as possible. You got the twenty playmaking. You cool, right? You're gonna be able to lock, unlock lock take two on this. Now watch. You're gonna make them burly. You know, you're gonna be on the twos. We're gonna go six five. You know, you go six six, you start losing um speed and stuff like that. You six five, my boy. Lowest weight, actually, 177. Bam, max wingspan, right? You unlock shot creator takeover with this. Instant, off rip, right? So, I don't know if y'all watch, y'all better watch my goddamn full videos. Make sure y'all subscribe, man. You can rock lock tape. You know, you're gonna be on the tools going crazy. You already gonna have the contact dunks, the Hall of Fame finishing. It's personally up to you, my boy. But if you just wanna have fun, go slasher, be toxic. If you wanna make them more compy, so you can hit the middies and shots because shot creator boosts your shot. And um, I think it's the quickest one to get. You could choose the shot creator takeover, bro. Or you wanna be stupid toxic, lock tape, you know? Lock tape. Now, me personally, since on twos, you don't really want to be losing the ball, bro. I would pick shot creator or lockdown. And the reason why, because lockdown, you might be able to get the ball back type stuff and, you know, deal with toxic people and all that. And shot creator, you'll be able to hit your middies more consistent, you know, and um, no fluke shit will happen. I don't know, man. It's tough. I don't know. Toxic. Tools, man. To, to be honest, tools is toxic. So you want to be toxic, go toxic. Nigga, fuck the bullshit. You feel me? <laughs> I'm going to show y'all the badges, man. But hey, listen to the takeover advice, bro. Listen to it. Listen to it. These are not my builds, bro. I'm just showing y'all different best versions of the build. Y'all ask me questions all the time. You know, just helping y'all out, my boy. I'm not going to make 15, 16, all them builds, bro. It's not happening. Now, look, so you could rock something like this. You want a straight contact dunk, all this other hoobla. You feel me? Something like this. If you don't need Relentless on um, Hall of Fame, maybe Silver will work. I don't know. i test that out. Put Giant Slayer on. You know, something like this, bro. I think this would be the best for 12. Really all you need. Rock something like this. Or this, I think that's the best. If you want to hear my explanations about the badges, just go look at the uh, the other part, bro. I ain't go repeat. You know, whatever ankle breaker badges work, you can have a lineup like this. I already explained it in the in the other build, so if you want to see that, go ahead. Clamps, oh yeah. You know, a lineup like this with eight badges would be cool. Um, if you need pick dodger on gold. Do something like this. And you you be you be you be cool, my nigga. I think this will be dope. And yeah. Anywho, that's the end of the video. Make sure y'all subscribe if you're new. Hit up that like button. Turn on post notice. I got plenty of gameplay coming soon. Just wanted to get these builds out to y'all in the uh beginning of the year. And yeah, man. Make sure y'all follow me on Twitch, Twitter. Go check out my other build videos. I got plenty of the best versions of all these goddamn builds. I am the build god, the IQ sensei.
the greatest of all times. If you want to see me play live, follow me on Twitch, Lord Baby Hulk on Twitch. Everything in the description. Sub to my new Rage Shots channel. And I'm out this hole, bruh.